exhaust freaking knocked my shoes off. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are back on the 2014 Dodge Viper TA and what we're actually going to do today is lift this car up, pop all four wheels and tires off and try to get at them calipers and paint them a nice bright orange color just like the car because as you can tell there's some big brakes in there but they just don't pop like they're supposed to. So let's go ahead put this thing on the lift and then we'll go from there. So now that we removed all four wheels, we are gonna get these powder coated, but we're gonna focus on those last. Now moving on to the calipers on the car here, we are gonna try to get these suckers sanded down real nice and smooth. But before we get to sanding, we do wanna bleed these brakes because there is a possibility that there's air in the lines. We try to clear the code, but the ABS light is still on. So we're gonna go ahead and attempt bleeding them and hopefully that turns our light off. And then we're gonna get to sanding, try to figure out what's the best method for sanding these because they are a little bit rough. And then we're actually gonna run to the paint store and get this exact paint code right here because we are gonna paint those the same color of the car. So we just pumped the brakes, got all the air out of the lines, and before we get started on sanding these calipers, I'm gonna go ahead and give a huge shout out to our partners at Ventura Watches. I've been wearing this watch for the past couple of months and I absolutely love the way it looks, the way it feels, and the compliments I get when I wear their watches. And as you guys know, it is summertime and Ventura has a perfect summertime watch for you, along with a wide variety of other watches that'll definitely match your style. So my personal favorite thing about Ventura is the high quality, of course, along with the price, which is the best value in the industry, as well as the meaning behind Ventura, which is I came, I saw, I conquered, which we do here every day. Another thing is these bands are super interchangeable with different faces, so you can definitely find something that matches your needs. So from the package all the way to the watch, it is all quality, but don't take my word for it. You can go to Ventura.com and see their over 16,000 plus five-star reviews, so you know you're getting a high quality product. Also guys, be sure to visit the link down below and use code GOONS to get 15% off your entire order plus free worldwide shipping. Now, let's get back to work. We actually went ahead and removed the rotor in the pads. It's just gonna be a lot easier to tape everything up, cover everything up, and also paint it. So we're gonna do that probably to all four of the sides and uh, start sanding. This sanding process is actually going pretty quick, not too bad. We can't really just sand it completely down because that's just how the metal is actually formed. It's kind of rough, but it's gonna look good when we're done with it. So let's go ahead and move on to the other side, take that side off, and then we're gonna do that to all four calipers.
guys, so we just sanded all four calipers. They are ready to be painted, but not just yet. We actually gotta run to a local parts store, grab some brake parts cleaner so we can clean these suckers up really nicely, and then grab some high heat primer because we did sand down all the way to raw metal. So we're gonna have to primer all that up. And we did actually locate some leftover paint from this Viper, so we are good there. We got our paint, we got our clear coat. Now let's go get the rest of our supplies. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. Got a bunch of rattle cans. We need uh, some uh, high heat primer. Is there such a thing even? Yeah, I've seen it on, uh, I actually looked it up on Google. <laughs> Google did the answer. Let's, Let's see, see if we, we can, can find, find it. some. Caliper paint, right here's caliper paint. Caliper paint. Now we need caliper primer, because we got the paint. We'll paint. Hmm. 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 Guys, I think I found our Dang. primer right here. Paint a whole car with that right one there. One shot and you can get the whole, <laughs> you can get all of our calipers with one spray right here, dude. This is crazy. But anyways, our primer is not here, so we're probably gonna have to run to another store and see if we can find it there. All right, guys, so we got a bunch of brake cleaner and some caliper uh, primer and some clear coat that we're gonna test out, but dang, these bugs are loud. I wonder if you guys have them bugs <laughs> because <laughs> these suckers are freaking, I don't know what they're doing. They're making some loud noises, too but loud, we- Too loud, That ranger danger been getting us around lately. Everywhere, dude. Might, might have to just wrap that truck, throw goon squad all over and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are, we are gonna get a truck here real soon. Bro. Real soon. Let's go ahead and clean them calipers. Alright, so we just cleaned up those calipers, not completely, just like the grime, the serious grime. Yeah. Got it off with the brake parts cleaner. Now we're going to test this clear coat out. Yeah, I want to test it out before I actually start painting the calipers. See how it actually goes. So we're going to spray it and let it dry and then we'll be back. We're going to prep the calipers, get them taped up and all that good stuff. Go ahead. Right, thick. Just testing something like... Never yeah. used this stuff before, so I yeah. gotta test it, you know what I mean? Because I'd rather spray it with some clip, some uh, nascent, some nascent and stuff like that. So, I want to test this stuff out, see what it feels like, it see almost, what it tastes like. It's like runny right <laughs> now, like I'm, I'm just touching it, just feels kind of weird, but we'll give that a few minutes, see what it does. Right now, we're gonna go wax and grease remove it and tape up all the calipers. tedious the most time consuming process was completed the taping we got a little bit more we're gonna probably throw a tarp over this or a car cover and uh whatever whatever we got and uh probably just tape up a little bit more under there once we throw the cover on and then start mixing up our paint and but before we do that we want to go ahead and use that uh what high, is te that? high temperature primer is what it's called but here, the yeah, flame proof it's, primer it's i mean it's rated for pretty high temperature so it should be good so we're gonna probably shake this up uh clean the calipers wax and grease remove all of them and then start spraying this stuff in hopefully get these things painted by tonight guys 
guys, so this is our setup to paint these calipers. It actually took us a lot longer to prep them and sand them and all that stuff. So all the stores are closed. We couldn't go grab any clear tarp because we are out of it. So we're gonna use some of these car covers that you guys actually sent. We're using them to the advantage of ours. We taped them up, made them all like weird looking, but <laughs> this is gonna work. Keep keep the overspray from going all over the car. So we're gonna go ahead, uh, probably prime these suckers in, prime them in, then we're gonna go mix up our paint and then get these things painted before we call it a night. All right, so the calipers are finally primed. They're drying over there now. It's time to mix up the paint. Right there, we got some leftover Viper paint, which is perfect. It's gonna pop. That's the color we were wanting. Um, so let's go ahead and mix it up and spray them in, right? Oh man, it's gonna look so good with the orange, dude. I'm telling you. I'm already getting super excited that we're doing this. It was a lot of work, but it's gonna be worth it at the end. It's gonna pop for sure, dude. guys so we are done with the base coat we made sure there's nice coverage all over the calipers they already look 10 times better but now it's time for some clear clear and these calipers came out absolutely amazing but it's super late on us it's about almost two o'clock in the morning so we're gonna have to catch you guys in the morning Alrighty guys, so it is the next day and the calipers look absolutely amazing, but right now we're going to go ahead and unwrap everything go ahead and reassemble the brakes and the rotors and then we're going to test out our wheels Alrighty guys, so we finally got all four rotors on, along with everything else, the brakes, the calipers, everything is installed. Now it is time for the moment of truth. Let's throw some of these wheels on here, man. Dude. I wanna see exactly what it looks like. Uh, I know they're gonna look better high gloss, but for now we're gonna throw them on right now. Yeah, when it's matte black yep. finish. Matte black, it should look good too. Yeah, I kinda wish we did have a decal right now, but I went ahead and put an order in on that. It'll be here later. Oh yeah. But you gotta be real careful here not to scratch these. You got it? 
I got it. I used to work at a tire shop. I know you can handle it. Dude, that's what's up right that there. Good. Look at that. That looks good. Freaking popping. But definitely, I think it does definitely need a decal right there. Man, that is pretty dang sick. Alrighty guys, so that is it for the calipers. Definitely need that little Viper decal to finish them up, but they look absolutely amazing. The car is not even sitting fully how it's supposed to be because the lift is kind of holding it up. But that's gonna be it for that. We're actually gonna go ahead and move on to the rear end and install that carbon fiber spoiler that you guys have been asking for. All right, so the crazy thing is this wing is not bolted on or anything. It's just gonna be held on by 3M window weld. Uh, or are no. we actually gonna use the Mopar? We're gonna stuff. use the Mopar stuff for sure, dude. You gotta use the Mopar on a Mopar, you know right, what I mean? That way if we lose it, we're just gonna call up Mopar and be like, yo, what's going on with your stuff? Yep, but this is probably the exact same stuff as this 3M window well. It looks exactly the same. They just put their name on it probably. But right. anyways, let's go ahead and uh, I think we pop this little thing open. Let's see if we can do a nice beat and put it back in its original spot. So this looks absolutely amazing. It actually been a couple hours because we were letting this dry. We had some food, we ate, we actually changed too. So we're gonna go ahead and take this tape off. I think it's pretty dang sturdy. I mean, dang. That's, that's some strong Mopar glue right there. I thought you were about to rip it off right there. I was like, dang. I mean, I'm trying to rip it off just in case because there's probably a ton of downforce that goes on. I mean, look at that. That thing is like straight up angled. This is this one. This was designed for the TA edition, made for that downforce. Yeah, made for that not aggressive ACR. I wonder how much pounds of downforce the ACR wing in this thing does. I believe uh, I believe the ACR wing actually slows the car down a little bit. Really? I, I mean, I can I can. A couple see miles that. under the TA, if I'm correct. This I, is faster. This is a little bit on top speed, but nobody ever like goes top speed, do you? It's scary to go <laughs> past like third gear on this thing. Like literally, I'm not even kidding. Like since the, we own this car, I literally went fourth gear, highest gear. That's already too Yo, high. Yo, you want to take this thing on the highway? We've never done that before sketch we can do it i mean just fourth gear it's super quick um we've never really went on the highway I'd never hit fifth gear on this thing that's what's so crazy about it but i think we can try it dude let's do it hopefully our calipers hold up this is going to be the ultimate test you know what yeah, i mean we need to heat them up so they bake and they just harden right i think that will that's actually will be really good for the calipers they actually get really hot and i think that the clear coat that paint is going to harden hopefully they don't crack if they do might have to repaint it. Dang, so that suck. <laughs> that sucks. So let's go ahead and after we pump the brakes, I want to see if it actually brakes better because we did have an issue with the car uh, like leaning one side whenever we braked, and there was tons of air on both of these calipers on this side. So let's go ahead, drop this thing, go down the road, and hopefully fit, hit fifth gear. <laughs> no life problems right now. You got to put two by fours underneath each wheel because the 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 lift actually is not low profile or the car is just too low. It lifts up the Lambo, the Ferrari. Just uh, the Viper is just super low. It is a low profile lift though. Is it? Yeah, I mean it's not, there's some lower profile, but we chose the lowest one because, you know, we work with a large variety of cars, so this Viper is just way too Dude, this low. Viper is super low, and I can't believe it's got adjustments to go even lower. Oh yeah. This is the stock ride height. Dang, it looks freaking good with it on the ground. I haven't it's even seen even it yet. It's on the ground though. It's is on it? some blocks. Oh, I was wondering. But it looks really good. Yeah, dude, this thing is freaking sick, man. Let's, get, let's do another cold start. Let's do it. it I'm always... Piece? I don't think so. Let me grab him. Looks so much more aggressive. Dang, that wing just tops it off, dude. 
that's definitely the cherry on top especially with these wheel with the with the calipers and then with the high gloss wheels it's just gonna be insane but dude looks way better outside too oh yeah i was telling you let's pull it outside Dang. and now we're actually gonna you want to hit the highway for at least like a, a little short period of time uh, i'd like to test it i'd really like to test uh you know how um how it how, handles dude how it handles after we pump the brakes because it did oh yeah little... let's let's see how the brakes work right now yeah they actually work really good like whenever i was pulling out it felt a lot sturdier it didn't feel like too squishy you know it yeah. feels like really firm so they already feel nicer so let's go ahead and hit the road how's the brakes Exhaust freaking knocked my shoes off. Man, this thing is scary, even in the passenger seat. I don't even want to get that driver's steering wheel. It's but, sketchy. Dude, I bet. I'll test drive it here soon, though. But that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Let me fill these calipers. Are they hot? Not really. We test drive test the front ones. Test the front ones. They got real hot. Not too hot. Not too hot. They're perfect temperature, I think. They we didn't, just we didn't run them too hard. Yeah, exactly. But that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Stay tuned. We may have some more Viper videos coming here soon because we're going to get those wheels powder coated. But make sure your notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. Also, guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram where you can get inside scoop there before YouTube. And if you want to support your boys, be sure to visit goonsquad.com and copy some merch. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments down below, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.